Special locally, we're tracking the El Paso County Sheriff race. Republican and current under Sheriff Joe Roybal is taking on Democrat and former Lieutenant Colonel in the U.S. Army, John Foley. Roybal currently has a big lead. We're going to hear from him tonight, too. I'm very confident that the red wave will begin here, or it started at back east and it will continue here in El Paso County and work its way across the country. Absolutely. I've ran a clean campaign, never got drugged down in the mud, even though candidates wanted to go there. Uh, that is not me. That won't be me in the future. I'll run a clean race and I'll run a clean office into the future. And now to recreational marijuana sales in Colorado Springs. Proposition 300 would allow for the sale of recreational marijuana within Colorado Springs city limits. And you see right here, 57% voting it down right now. And Fox 21's Austin Zach live at the El Paso County Republican Watch Party with reaction to marijuana on the ballot. Hey, Austin. Scott and Taylor, that's right. I'm reporting live here at the Boot Barn Hall where the El Paso County Republican Watch Party is just about wrapped up. But here locally on Fox 21 News, we're tracking several local ballot questions. One, voters determine the fate of recreational marijuana sales here in the city boundaries. There were two questions on the general election ballot regarding recreational marijuana sales. Ballot question 300 determined if Voters would authorize the regulation of retail and recreational marijuana establishments in the same manner as medical marijuana. Now, Fox 21 caught up with Mayor Southers earlier tonight. The mayor was very open about several local ballot measures, specifically ballot question 300. The mayor saying he is proud of Colorado Springs voters, especially our area's youngest demographic of voters. I'm very proud of the voters of Colorado Springs. Uh, quite frankly, the polls start out uh, with about a 25% advantage for rec marijuana. But I think uh, the voters, particularly a particular age group, needed to find out about what some of the issues are, uh, particularly with high potency marijuana. And once we got that message across, uh, it's really a pretty comfortable margin at this point. Now, Mayor John Southers predicts over the next 10 years, vote no on ballot question 300 will have a positive impact on the quality of life here in Colorado Springs. Now, as things are wrapping up here at the Republican Watch Party, just head to fox21news.com for all election updates on local and state races. But for now, reporting live here at the Boot Barn Hall, I'm Austin Sack, Fox 21 News. Scott Taylor.